Guys, we are back on Skybounds for a Star of the World, a special one. We are actually going to be competing against my greatest enemy, Dylan Underscore. I just found some loot on the ground, so I'm keeping this right now. But guys, as you know, or you may know, Dylan unpartnered from my HF server about five months ago, and I'm still angry, okay? I'm heated out of my mind. I'm going to destroy him in this series. Obviously, this is a versus series, if I haven't already really directly said that. We are going to be competing against each other on Skybounce. The Star of the World just happened this past Saturday, so it's probably been a few days since Star of the World. You guys should definitely hop on and play. It's a very fun community server. You can see right now we've got 206 players online, and it's just very unique. It's kind of like an MMO. So again, if you are interested in getting into Skybounce alongside us, the map just opened. The maps last like multiple months, so it's definitely a great time to hop on and play since it just started. Okay, we have slash help, slash menu, IS, spawn, war zone, skills, challenges, craft, AH, and ignore. These are just useful commands. Uh, we also probably will be playing in shaders because I feel like that makes these videos better quality. Um, yeah, here's some useful links if you guys want to, you know, keep up with the stuff. And welcome to Skybounce, our 1.14.4 plus server. I'm playing on 1.16 Lunar Client, by the way. All right, so we're going to go ahead and create our island left click to create an island and we have three templates a classic cherry and a house um i feel like i've done house already and we will do we'll do cherry we'll do cherry uh play style oh oh this is cool this is new they're solo highly boosted skill xp only one island member max trios mildly boosted skill xp only two to four island and teams regular skill xp regular island we're doing solo boys we are doing solos okay there we go that's actually really cool i did not know about that all right well this is our cozy little island we literally have a chimney working right here i think inside i'm probably gonna hit a border of the island soon i know i gotta upgrade we got some chests in here um just all basic stuff and some builds everywhere and i know there's probably a cobblestone generator something looks like i can even fish at my own island or something and farm this looks good i can't even go over here i have to upgrade my island to reach that spot but yeah basically uh this is going to be our island and i think we can get started i do slash is that'll open up the main menu we've got the primary island i think is that our rank no, that's not that's definitely not our rank i was gonna say we're we're 57 000. there's a lot of islands on the server what the heck i went through public islands and i scroll through and i see mine katia player <laughs> that's funny but yeah, I guess we can get started. I'm pretty sure Dylan has not actually gotten on yet. I don't think he's actually home. So we're going to be able to get a quick advantage on him. And I'm not too sure how I'm going to be checking out his info. Like if there's a way I can like check out his level and stuff like that. We'll probably just have to ask him. But I think we're going to win this series pretty easily. But yeah, we got to get started and do our beginner challenges. That's like the only thing I can do right now. Um, so number one, we got our basic setup off the mailbox. You know, because we did the first challenge. was creating a hit island. There we go. We got our leather armor, all of our tools. Okay, this does seem new. Player level. We can see level one to level two two, three, four, level five, ability to teleport to war zone, level 10, access Koth, level 15, boss eggs, level 20, tier two in quest, tier three in quest, tier four in quest, and I don't think there's anything else yet. So this does look like a new feature. That looks pretty cool. This is a brand new way of progressing in skills and other skybounds activities faster. You gain daily experience or you gain experience from skill grinding, daily challenges and openables. Every player level gives you personal boosts in normal experience and skill experience. Oh, so I guess as you get a higher level, it boosts everything else, which is really cool so that's probably the main purpose of it and then these are just like extra stuff that you win on top of it all right well we're gonna get going on the beginner challenges chop five logs Alrighty, we just warped to the oak island with slash spawn going into the wood cutting warps right here and i think we're just gonna you know chop five logs pretty basic and there we go we just got a sapling in our mailbox i assume that's the next challenge yep plant five saplings in your island we're also just getting some xp and unlock some challenges from uh checking out the first oak things as you guys know like these are all different skills that you can like investigate unknown challenges as soon as you discover them then you get the challenges and like within the challenges there are other stuff you unlock by completing more challenges and uh, it's kind of like that process over and over with all the new stuff that you progress and upgrade through Alrighty, well i gotta place these down somewhere i'll just place one right there one right here one right there and then these probably won't even grow because of all the stuff around it. i don't actually know and there okay there we go mine 10 cobblestone on your island okay so i'm pretty sure there is supposed to be some sort of cobble generator in the build i know there wasn't my other build if not though the last challenge gives you a lava bucket and a water bucket so i might just make it myself okay i just got i gotta remember how to make one of these okay i'm pretty sure this is how you do it and you place down a lava right here it flows and generates yep there we go guys we have made our first cobble generator probably in years okay and i'm gonna go ahead and just keep mining this and there we go that is done okay next challenge spend a thousand stars at the market did we get anything in our mailbox from that no i think we just got stars for that slash is i'm pretty sure and then i can go back and then go to the marketplace okay so we can view all the shops here there was a i'm pretty sure there is also like a real marketplace um but you can access it from your spawn or from your island and stuff like that i think what i did last time is i bought um a fishing rod which i do think that we actually get from this next challenge i'm gonna spend 750 on that 
and then let's just find something cheap. We will buy some leaves. Okay, I'll buy one, two, and three. There we go. And now, yeah, now the next challenge is cast 25 fish, which does give you the fishing rod, but we do have this fishing net, okay? Because this is good that I didn't get that last time I did this. So, um, I don't know what the heck was place these down right there right there right there nice so these are all the different pools you can see that is the stone pool obviously iron gold diamond emerald and then whatever they call that one that's the sea lanterns though and then prismarine i assume uh lapis that looks like redstone or lava or something and then i don't even know what they'd call this one but this is clearly the best one call this one the sky one is this custom like is this a custom texture or is this like a minecraft thing i've never seen that block before bro this guy is like that is tiny dude like look at this his model is that freaking big that's actually kind of cool <laughs> all right well that one is done i honestly am not a big fan of fishing just because it's like you gotta like stay so focused and if you miss like you just like miss so it's annoying but yeah now we got to chop 100 oak wood at spawn so let's just go back to spawn wood cutting warps and go back here and we'll probably get an imp after mining these guys out and we just finished that one right there completed 100 oak trees wait I actually did that that might have been oh i think i still have some more to do yeah i still have five more to do but um have not seen an imp yet i've seen other people get one i saw the future pickle over there i actually remember that guy from my live stream he has the Mincadia cloak. There he is over there. All right, and we just finished that one now. Now we're gonna get a gemstone. I believe it's a haste one, if I remember correctly, and we just add this onto something. Yep, haste one, as well as an ancient rune to place down at our base. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add this onto the pickaxe. And we'll go ahead and farm two and wheat at spawn. That was an easy one. Go to wheat island. Farming is actually pretty enjoyable because of how easy it is. You literally just like fly around and everything. Like, I already finished that. Like I'm already farming level two. Like I might just have to do this for a little while. And our our farming level by itself is already level six i kind of want to get to potatoes that's level 10 um so i might actually do this until level 10 oh we have our first imp okay i'm gonna jitter click this guy out and we just got oh uh, actually it's not that much player xp but it gives you a bunch of different ones per hit and we just got level 10 i want to see can we even start on the potatoes i think we need a certain uh hoe i think we need a stone hoe oh wait wait oh it's not selling me anything uh yeah i need a stone hoe to do that okay well we made some money off that some resources we made about you know twelve thousand dollars or so pretty good um and you know, of course we did get level 10 and player level of four which is pretty good i actually want to see what is the boost on that now um we are almost at level five which is the ability to teleport to war zone currently level four and what bonus does that give us four percent boost okay so maybe just one percent for each level and the next challenge is to mine 100 coal of course we did put haste on our pickaxe which is a good idea because i think mining is the slowest one uh that like, can actually be boosted because you can't really boost fishing unless you have like luck of the sea or whatever the heck that is or lure but i don't know Okay, we finally finished that one, and that was a pain, not gonna lie, but uh, it is done. We It does say we have 230 mine, that's because an imp spawned, and we got 130 stats off that, but if we go to challenges, the next one is slaying evil bunnies at spawn. So, there's either two places this works, it's either actually at spawn, uh, which they weren't last time, um, at the Slayer Island. Oh, it kind of seems like, oh yeah, they are here. Okay, last time they were in war zones. So I had to do that in war zone, but here, now it's at spawn. Okay, we did it. All right, so next challenge is finisher. We just got 10,000 stars from that one. Craft one item at the crafting custom menu, um, which I believe crafting skill, is this all the, is this all the stuff? Oh yeah, this is a bunch of stuff we have right here. It looks like they've changed up skills to two different categories. There's personal challenges, which are these ones right here that give you those crafting recipes, stuff like that. Then there's also island challenges, which is a whole new thing of skill levels based on like the i guess total skill level of your island and that gives other stuff like compact coal mining pet one darkness gemstone i was thinking i could just do a compact coal but i don't even have it unlocked yet so what is my mining skill 200 xp to level it honestly i'm probably just gonna go for the wood because we're gonna need that anyways but um yeah i mean that is something we could do i don't know when it happened but we are player level five i'm pretty sure i've not noticed that until just now but that means we can access the war zone which definitely guys next video is all about the war zone as you guys know we make hella stars there compared to everything else uh, just because you can get stuff that you can literally even get vouchers for stars you can also sell a bunch of resources gets you a bunch of content or it gets you access to a bunch of content that you wouldn't already have before because of the level caps on everything but yeah i'm pretty sure i can now craft a compact oak wood craft one and there we go guys we have completed all of the beginner challenges before dylan underscore i know he's not home or whatever but you know i think that's just an excuse he does not want to face reality and lose to me once again but mailbox what do we get from that we got a blast furnace an item teleporter and an auto chest once again i don't really know what an 
auto or sorry an item teleporter does apparently it's an important item because I've, I've seen it every single map of played skybounds and it's even in like the upgrader thing for uh i think it's like boost like i swear i saw something about them uh in here somewhere but yeah i don't know um we'll have to look into that blast furnace i think that's just a regular furnace might be something else but guys i'm gonna end off the video right here we got started on skybounds it's mainly just a video introducing us into the verse series and once again into skybounds and all the changes it has made this season so I hope to see you guys online skybounds.com is the server ip and um i believe is there i think there's a code zoid at checkout for 10 percent off if that is still active be sure to check that out probably the link down below in the description guys that's gonna be all i'll see you guys later peace